What's up guys? Trust you had a wonderful day. Your boy is back again with another amazing tutorial. Congratulations for making it to the second part of this tutorial. But if you are here to watch the first part, do use the link in the description box to navigate to part 1 of this prototype design before watching this in order for you to properly lay down a concrete foundation of UI UX designs. Most importantly, the first part of this prototype design is necessary for you to grasp the entire concept of what we will be doing here today, as we will be commencing from where we stopped in the first part. Finally, all lesson file is located in a link in the description box for you to follow along with this tutorial smoothly, then ensure to download for your use. So enough of this talk guys, let's get some action. In this tutorial today, we are going to be creating two more pages from our initial preview, which is the login page and the get started page. Today's tutorial will be quite shorter than the previous one, so we can move to the last part of this tutorial where we'll be building the last page and we'll also link all components and pages together for a successful prototype. So first of all, I'll start by duplicating this page. I'll just head over to the title of this page and hold down Ctrl D on my keyboard so we have two pages now i'm just going to hold down ctrl plus zero to bring this to center then um i'm going to fit that through okay first of all let me edit the title so i'm going to change this to um, a login page login page all right and tap enter on my keyboard then i'm just going to fit that through what i'll be needing in this page I believe um, from don't just set goals, as I'm just going to align them from this place. Sorry, my system was lagging. I'll be needing the logo, so I'm going to exclude that. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to alight from the don't just set goals, call them parts, then delete. All right. So we are left with a blank page and our logo so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my test tool and i'm going to type something welcome back welcome back i suppose um i should capitalize it welcome back like this sorry with an exclamation mark all right i'm going to drop my tool align this to center horizontally take it upwards a bit then I'm just going to change the font family here to Montserrat same as before I'm going to set this to 21 and I'm going to give this um, semi bold semi bold all right then finally I'm going to change the text color to this dark color I have over here I'm going to copy and paste Ctrl V. All right. So here we have it. So I'm still going to align it horizontally center. So there we have it. We have our welcome back test. So the next thing I want to do is to create my login fields. So I'm going to do that by picking my pen tool over here to create a path. I'm just going to create a point over here. Hold down while holding down my shift key to make a perfect straight line. Then if you notice, this is just going to attach to my pen tool wherever I take the pen tool to. And you wouldn't want to have this kind of attachment to your pen tool. So I'm just going to hit the escape on my keyboard. Then I'm going to give this a um, border color of, let's check our color section over here. So I guess I'm going to give it the secondary color let's see you know the primary color will do fine okay i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste over a ctrl v all right so there we have it i'm just going to set it to this to center horizontally all right the next thing i want to do is to pick my pen tool sorry my test tool and type email address email address all right so let's do a little um, test formatting to this. I'm going to change this to semi bold. 
and I'm going to set this to 16 okay then I'm going to set the color to complete black like total black 0000, zero, zero, zero. I suppose that's the S code all right so there we have it I'm just going to you know zoom into this so we can see properly then I'm going to pick my ruler over here yes, you know like sort of a guide so we can actually you know align this properly and better so I'm going to use my arrow key to shift the email address to this ruler guide so for those of you that don't know how to get the ruler guides it's we have the horizontal ruler guides which is this so I'm just going to place my mouse up here you know you can see then it's when it snap to this arrow facing opposite direction then you can just click and drag it over here then same thing likewise the you know the vertical as is too or the y as is for those of you that studied mathematics the x as is and the y as is i hope i'm not wrong if i'm wrong someone should correct me in the comment box all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to group this together so i'm going to group this together i'm going to um hold down my shift while clicking on the test that's the email address and while clicking on the path that's this line here then i'm going to ctrl g so i've grouped this together so i'm just going to call this email address email address so i'm um, still going to need this same login parameter or this login field so um let me just you know arrange it a bit okay so what i'm going to do next is to okay so i'm just going to duplicate this by holding down ctrl d on my keyboard ctrl plus d all right so we have this down so i'm just going to use my arrow key to bring down the duplicated copy all right then i'll set a distance or uh, let's say a padding of 30 in between both fields or i don't know let's see, take it down a bit all right so let's say 40 40 is, 40 is going to do okay so i'm just going to double click on this that's two times and still click on this again to edit and change this to password all right so there we have it so i'm just going to take away this annoying ruler we don't need it again okay so this is our field let's play this prototype to see what we have okay so you can see we have our welcome back we have our email address and password field yeah so i'm just going to close this down then let me make sure this is um actually aligned properly horizontally okay i'm going to click this okay sorry let me just highlight everything together i'm sorry about that okay this is properly aligned so the next thing i'm going to do is to type in the forget password okay so i'm going to type forgot password sorry i can't type that's why i'm a developer okay so i'm just going to shift it over here so guys if you can notice we have these you know guidelines indicating that we can actually put our forgot password test here and i told you about the guidelines in our previous video why we shouldn't neglect it because it's very important for us so we can know where to actually position elements in our prototype design all right so i'm just going to change the color of this to our primary color which is over here i'm going to copy the code ctrl c and i'm just going to paste all right then the next thing i'm going to do is to actually get this button so we won't go through the stress of you know making this button and you know through that rigorous process like we did in the first part of the tutorial so if you don't know how to create this button do refer to the first tutorial where we covered how to create a button like this and how we're able to add over states how we're able, able to make components and other cool stuff so i'm just going to control c that's to copy or i'll right click on this and copy you can see from our first prototype design we did all right so i'm just going to come to this page here to the login page and control v paste wow so here we have it so i'm still going to make sure this is aligned center horizontally okay so this is okay so i'm just going to shift this up all right all right so you can see our grid lines again very very important very important 
so i'm just going to place it here because our you know our guidelines rather has asked us politely to actually place <laughs> place our element here all right so i'm going to change the get started here i'm going to change it to a login button okay log in or oh, let me add them together login okay so i'm going to drop my type tool then i'll make sure this is aligned properly you can see another guideline showing that okay this is the right place to place this test okay so that's it so now let's play the prototype once again and wow here we have it so this is our login if you notice the hover states and if you notice also if you have been following along we didn't add any overstate to this button this is because we have added it already in the previous prototype that's the welcome page or the onboarding screen so all i did or all i needed to do was just to copy and paste in my login page and a exact component state and overstate we have added will just be duplicated or it will be replicated to the current button I hope we are following. So I'm just going to close the prototype. So one last thing guys, before I conclude the building of this page, I'm going to type in the contents for the login page as seen in the prototype or as seen in the preview from the first part. Um, because I don't want this tutorial to be so long, I'm just going to copy and paste to save time. Alright, so I'm just going to come over here, copy this, the entire test we have over here. I'm sorry, I don't know why my PC is lagging today, sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to Ctrl C, come over here and Ctrl V, paste. Alright, so there we have it, I'm just going to move it down a bit. You can see here we have our guidelines coming to save us again. So I'm just going to place it where the guidelines are shown. All right. So I'm still going to ensure this is, you know, aligned properly. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is okay. So guys, before we move to the next page, I'm just going to make few adjustments here. I'm going to take away the version. It's not required anymore. And I'm going to add the navigation button. That's the back arrow, which is going to take us to the next page. So I'm just going to come over here to my icons. This file is already in the description box for you to download. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to copy. Then head over to the main page and paste. All right, Ctrl V, paste. And there we have it at this point we actually want it. So I'm going to move to the next page, which is the sign up page. So I'm just going to click on the title and Ctrl D, that's to duplicate this page. All right, so I'm going to edit the title and say sign up page, sign up page. All right, then I'm going to take away all the stuff we won't be needing. And um, I guess we won't be needing this entire test here so I'm just going to delete this part I'm going to take away the forgot password part 2 alright then I'm going to edit this button and change it to proceed so it's not going to be login again it's going to be proceed so I'm just going to type proceed inside here alright I'm going to drop my tool and make sure this is aligned properly okay then I'm going to take away this logo I guess we won't be needing it then this i'm going to leave this here but i'm just going to edit the tests i'm going to give it something different so i'm going to edit this and say get started all right i was supposed to start from top to bottom but i'm sorry i got carried away so i'm just going to change this to black okay so i'm going to duplicate this and make sure I edit this to get another content. So I'm just going to space it properly. This will do. Okay, I'm going to say let's let's get to 
know you let's get to know you full stop uh, i guess this should be lowercase all right let's get to know you okay i'm just going to drop the tool and edit this or format it so i'm going to leave it as um regular or let's just leave it as medium okay then i'm going to change the font size to 16 16 we do okay now it's you know getting too difficult to see so i'm just going to leave it at semi bold all right now we have our email address so instead of a password because this is more like a sign up field um it will be a phone number instead phone number all right then i'm just going to take the proceed button upwards so it's going to be close to our impute feed yeah all right then there we have it so i'm just going to alight the boat of this test and take it up a bit close to the back arrow all right something around this place will do okay so i guess this is what we have done thus far let me play the prototype and wow okay so this is our get started page this is our login page look at the needs over state we have on the buttons look at our input feed um these arrows are yet to you know work that's because we haven't linked the arrow to pages or we haven't prototype it yet and this is going to be seen in our next tutorial so so don't forget to check it up when it's uploaded all right so i'm just going to close this then i'm going to change this to black all right so it will stand out kind of visual visual hierarchy visual hierarchy all right visual hierarchy don't mind my english it's all right so there we have it and we are done so guys there we have it we are done with the tutorial for today as you can see this tutorial is very short and easy straightforward too the next tutorial is going to you know be a little bit sophisticated and it's very important to watch it to actually grasp the whole concept of what i've been doing thus far because that's where the old magic is going to happen you know that very cool thing when you click on a page or you click on a button it takes you to another page you click on an arrow it takes you back and forth like that so that's what the next tutorial is going to be focused on the actual prototyping because if you have noticed adobe SD is divided into three parts we have the design which is the section we are currently in we also have the prototype which you know you can see this linking this is where the whole magic is going to take place when i click on this button how i can navigate you know default state over state auto animate and component that you have never seen before then we also have the share and also very cool stuff which we are going to be discussing in our next tutorial so please guys don't miss out on this all right so with these guys we have come to the end of a successful tutorial please don't forget to share this video with your friends like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new to this and god bless you all bye i love you all see you in the next tutorial bye